feminists must not go uncensored in a democracy of justice and equity. Now we're reminded in scripture that power belongs to God. And government to whom that power is lent is to be a servant of God for us, for good. It is to be a terror to evil. It is not to be a terror itself to those who are under its jurisdiction. To good power, we must be subject and not resistant, paying tribute where it is due as stated in the word of God. Given the overwhelming mandate this government has been graciously given, it must itself be gracious, not abusive. For to whom much is given, much is required. Right. And secondly, that the acquisition should be for good national purpose. That would be a just cause to acquire a private citizen's property. In that respect, that is justice. However, it is important that in its exercise of the law that the government does what is fair. Even a person convicted of a crime, if you want to discuss it that way, is entitled to fair treatment under the law. That is what that is the essence of democracy. And that is all we're saying. We're not defending the particular situation. We are in the defense of democracy. Righteousness, fairness, morality. This government has an overwhelming mandate and therefore can exercise its power, wield its power, heavy handedly. It is our responsibility as citizens who have given them that power to ensure that there, there is accountability 